All right, God bless your heart, people. I'm, my, uh, my laptop is still down. I talked to the, where we supposed to have met Wednesday, but we had a lot of things going on in the uh, uh, personal thing we had to attend to, so we couldn't do it Wednesday. I talked to him on yesterday, and he's supposed to be over today to get the laptop going, or if I need to buy another one. Either way. We will be back on our laptop, but nevertheless, let's go right to it. Oh, uh, why no healing and miracles and deliverance and oh, uh, devils cast out and delivered from sin and bondage and Drugs and alcohol and delivered from sexual perversion and so on and so forth. Why no healing and deliverance in our churches? Why no power in our churches? Some say, well, there's no power in the church. The church doesn't lost something. No, the church have not your church have, not Jesus church. Yeah. Cause Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and wherever. He have not changed. Not Jesus church. It delivered it into your church. And the gospel is the power of God and the salvation. The church never lost its power. Your church have. Why? Here's why. Let deal with healing. When we, if you see no healing, no miracles, everybody gets sick, die. Nobody gets healed. Uh huh. Nobody free from sin, living a righteous life in your church. Nobody perfect in your church. Nobody without sin in your church. The reason for that is this. Excuse me while I drink some coffee. Don't say nothing. Y'all be wild in the pulpit. The reason for that is this. Christ is not being preached. Holly, I know some don't believe. The Bible says, what if some don't believe? Do that make the gospel another effect? Some don't believe, but some believe. Pastor lifted up. Bishop is lifted up. You hear more about pastor and bishop than you hear about Jesus. And you're not hearing about Jesus. You mentioned his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. It say the Lord knoweth those that are here. Let everyone that name is the name of Christ depart from iniquity. You say, well, ain't nothing love without sin. Yet you name the name of Christ. You ain't healed. The reason is no deliverance. Nobody free from sin. Nobody living a righteous life. Nobody can judge. The reason is no healing, no deliverance. Every sick person died. Nobody get healed. And I say healed without symptoms. A lot of times in the church of the day, you, 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 uh, people get saved when you send them over to rehab. Uh, when Jesus say you don't have to go to rehab. You don't give up and confess, my name is Robert and I'm an alcoholic. I'm a sexaholic. I'm a dopeaholic. No, you ain't. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And such were some of you, but now you're washed, sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, that Corinthians 6 and 9. All right. The reason you don't see no. The church ain't what it used to be. Yes, it is. Your church ain't. Hallelujah. Come, come to mind. Come to mind. Praise God. 
come to mind a song. I think Cleotas Robinson or Orange Mays said the church is still what it used to be. The church is still what it used to be. The church is still what it used to be. But the reason you say it ain't because we just don't serve the Lord. That's your problem. All right. Glory to God. The problem is Christ is not preached. See, you, you don't sell spring water and you don't sell oil uh, for healing and deliverance and you don't pay a fee for healing and deliverance. Hallelujah. When they come through Christ, Christ, there's the, the, the same one that it say it, it will fulfill. After he healed Peter's mother-in-law, the fever, fever, he say this is fulfilled. Prophecy fulfilled. That he bore our griefs. Uh -huh. Christ healed from sickness. Christ do that. Uh -huh. Christ raised the dead. Christ or stop death in Christ. Hear from high blood, pressure, sugar. All that. Christ do that. You got to preach to the people and point them to Christ. Christ also saved from sin. Where have you said Christ your person saved? You ain't preaching Christ. Except Christ your person said, you ain't preaching Christ. But Christ said, repent. Christ said his blood for the remission of sin. His remission of sin. That be take away all our sin. Yet you said, ain't no love without sin. Ain't no love public. You're not preaching Christ. Christ said, repent. Christ said, as that repentance that remission of sin, she'll be preaching his name. That's Luke 21, what it said. Christ said, going all the way to preach the God to every creature. He that believe in that be baptized, shall be saved. He that believe not shall be, shall be damned. And these signs shall follow in that belief. Mark 16. Begin read with verse 15. They'll cast out devil. Lay hands on 6, 6, Jericho. Pray to the Lord. Because you ain't preaching Christ. You look to Jesus. You tell the folks to have faith in Jesus. That what Jesus told the folks when they came to be healed and delivered. He said, all them thou can believe. Have faith in God. Hallelujah. Peter and John, that lame man, when Peter and John went up to the brother at the hour of prayer, hallelujah, saw the lame man asking alms. Said, and Peter and John said, silver and gold we don't have, but look on us. And, and, and when he told them, him to look on him, to look on them, he said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It, it, not in our name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up the wall. You got to preach Christ. Your body will be here. Preach Christ. People will be delivered from sin. People will be washed from their sin. Now Christ said, repent. If you don't tell people to repent, you didn't preach Christ. Except Christ the person saved, you did not preach Christ. Christ said, repent for the remission of your sin. His blood for the remission of our sin. You got to believe that. See, you got to preach Christ. Christ will take away right now. You that saved, you that thought you were saved. Uh, Christ, will, ah, bah. Christ will take away your sin right now. Repent of your sin. Believe Jesus Christ. God raised him from the dead. His blood for the remission of your sin. Matthew 26. Verse 27, 28, 29. Luke 24, 47. Repentance every middle of sin be preached. He'll take away all your sin. He'll wash and clear you for all your sin. All sin. Hallelujah. Sinful habit. He'll clear you from all sin. His blood, Jesus' blood. He's alive. You got to believe that. And you got to repent. He said, repent. Turn from all your sin. Believe him. Call on him. 
ask him to save you. Whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. All right. The reason is you see no results, it positive results in your church. No saints made. Church full of imperfect people. That's not the church of Jesus Christ. We all sinners. That's not no church of Jesus Christ. That's your church. But you got to do it like the Bible said. Repent. Believe him. Call on him. If you want to be saved. If you want. Look, you sick. You sick. Sick in your body. You believe Jesus. You call on Jesus. Believe him to heal your body. All right. Christ is not preached. That's the problem. If, if Christ would preach, you would get them false prophet out of your church. If Christ would preach, no money game be played for the pay, uh, 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 seed sowing, tithes offering for blessing. Seed sowing, what you need from, from the Lord. Get a seed in your hand. If Christ would preach, Christ said, freely you have received, freely give. Christ didn't charge nothing. Ah, oh, pray God. Christ needs to be preached. Christ is not preached. If Christ would preach, deliverance will come. Devil would be cut down. Bodies be healed. Everybody won't die. Some will be healed and testify and pray in God. Sinners be saved. Drug addicts set free. Drunkards set free. Homosexual lesbians set free. False prophet pastors set free as they start preaching the truth. I've witnessed that. But the Bible is right. Lift up Jesus. Preach Christ. Christ say, repent. Though the kingdom of God is at hand. I came not to call the right but sinners to repent. Repent. Believe him. To take away all your sin. Wash away all your sin. You, you want that? You call on him. You ask him to do that. He's alive. Christ God raised him from the dead. He's alive now. And he will do it. All right. God bless you.